Hello YouTubers, today or tonight, whenever you're watching us, I am filming this, filming it, at, dropping my tablet, 10, 12 p.m. at night. Um, 10, 12, 10, 12 p.m. at night. I just got done watching Chucky Episode 2, if you guys couldn't tell by the title. Ah, uh, just, I cannot stop laughing. I cannot stop enjoying this, this episode. This episode was just phenomenal. It was just fucking hilarious. Um, like, the last episode, I grabbed, uh, the Heart of Umbella, uh, to wear, yeah, I wear my Stewie shirt today, but I'm like, you know what, Chucky and Stewie, they fit together, but I grabbed my Heart of Umbella, wear it during the episode with my voodoo knife, and I'm, and I just, um, The first thing, the first thing I will say before I'm moving even further, if you guys have not watched episode, if you have, if you guys have not watched Chucky season two, episode one and two, spoilers ahead. Uh, spoilers directly ahead. If you guys haven't seen both episodes, stop now. Try and figure out a way to watch it. Then come back. I will not be mad. I will understand. Okay, continue. Um, uh, when they were doing the whole Chucky title theme, I basically tried my best and saw... I, I saw a few... Pictures of Nika, a few pictures of Chucky, like from Child's Play 2, uh, Curse of Chucky, Child, uh, just, uh, it, it, it was just here and there of Chucky and Nika, uh, so, and then, uh, we get, um, uh, and then, um, if I remember correctly, uh, it jumps right into Jennifer Tilly, a.k.a. Tiffany, a.k.a. the Bride of Chucky, a.k.a. the Ex-Bride of Chucky. So, which, okay, uh, uh, when she woke up and she's like... Mm. I looked at her nails and I'm like, damn, how long does this bitch need her nails and how sharp does she need them? I'm like, why? Wh why? To me, that's like kind of unrealistic, but hey, um... So, uh, and then she's like, and then she looks at her nails, and I'm like, what, you paint them black, what, you can't remember, because what, are, were you drunk, so drunk that night that you paint your nails black or something? I'm like, why are you freaking out of a fashion statement, and then that's when she pulls the blanket off her, and you see the blood, and, and I'm like, oh, okay, now that makes sense. Yeah, that, that completely makes sense. And then you see, like, the head a Andy shot off of uh, the doll, Tiffany doll from Bride of Chucky. And, and, and I thought of two things right away. When, when I paused the show and I, at the episode, and I'm like, okay, I... I was thinking to myself, and I'm like, okay, only two things popped in my head. Somehow, Andy actually did survive 
which I'm saying that he didn't, uh, died. I still have hope that he survived, but, uh, somehow he snuck into Jennifer Tilly's, Jennifer Tilly's house and put the doll there, which I wouldn't even, I, I wouldn't even have the balls to lift her blanket up because who knows what's under there. I mean, boom. Um, or, and, but my second thought was, which would have been more likely, which my second option was, my second guess was correct. It was Chucky. Chucky put the head there. And, uh, 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 which, it was actually fascinating because before, instead of her storming up after she screamed, until, until she screamed and she looked up at this like mirror thing she has over her bed, which and when she was screaming, it started to crack, and and, and I'm like, you know, that kind of reminds me of uh, when Tiffany threw the champagne bottle up something close to that in Bride of Chucky. So I I I, I was actually hoping it would break. And in a way, not trying to be mean to the bed, I would feel bad for the bed, just like the water bed in Bride of Chucky. But and it was just like because she was screaming, but it didn't. It just cracked a little. Um. Um. She made Nika breakfast, and then we, and then she clearly she gave Nika, which thank. God, she's treating Nika like a freaking princess, which I get. It. Jennifer Tilly, Tiffany has like this weird love feeling emotion for Nika, and it's actually really weird. Uh, but uh, she made Nika breakfast, went up to her princess room because basically it's like a button here uh go through a room here a hallway and then you see and then you see an elevator go out the elevator and you see like this nice queen princess room she gave nika even a princess bed she i mean nika was laying in a princess bed I mean, that just screams love right there. Um, but uh, she helps Nika sit up since she cut off. So, I don't know if it was directly cut. Scissored. Sawed off uh, her legs and arms. And yeah, I mean, ugh. Um, and then she feed Nika herself, which obviously, I mean, she can't really feed herself because, once again, cut off her own arms and legs. But, um, something I did not, uh, and, and, uh, and then uh, after she fed Nika... Which, okay, I guess that would have been... That was nice before she did this. And, and show Nika her blooded hand at, to get Chucky out. I'm like, okay, well, that was nice. I mean, instead of feeding Chucky... I mean, kind of fed Chucky a little bit, so it really didn't matter. Uh, but... And then she just went all... What the... Do you think this is funny? The whole, my doll head in my in my bed. Do you know you could have stained my bed? Do you know how much these cost? I'm like, aren't you blowing out a little capoche, a little 
proportion a little bit. I'm like, it's just a head. And, and the sheets are washable. I mean, um, and I just love how Chucky just like lay there laughing his ass off. Well, her, he, whatever. Um, and, um, uh, he's like, yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, but, um, uh, I, I, I could try and remember if, if, if I did something like that. And, and she's like, don't fuck play with me. Um, and then we get, uh, cut off from there to, um, Jake, Devin, and Lexi. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I wouldn't even survived a minute in that church prison school either. I, uh, I, uh, I had the right mind when Lexi first saw the school uniforms. I, I, I was with her all the way. I'm like, I would not wear that. Screw that. Hell no. Mm-mm. No. <clears throat> I would die before I would have been something like that on. Um, and then, but before that, we got introduced to our new, one of our new members, n one of our new group members. That would be added to the Scooby-Doo gang group. Which, speaking of, I, I forgot to uh, throw out in, in the first episode reveal. That I I just loved how Chucky in the first episode threw out. I would have gone away with it if it wasn't, uh, if it wasn't for... I would have gone away with it too if it wasn't for your meddling kids. I just love that Scooby Doo reference. So I kind so when uh so when I just threw out there the whole introducing a new member to the Scooby Doo gang that that that's basically why. Um, uh, but uh, I, honestly, when I when we when I saw the new member and how she was just all giddy and. Suspicious and kind of evil-ish. You could tell, like, she has a dark side, but not, like, a chucky dark side. But to me, I'm, like, watching more of her. And, and I'm like, this fly little girl. Honestly, too bad she wasn't thrown in in the first season. Because I, 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 I could swear, if Chucky saw her... Yep, she's the first target I'm gonna go for to try and hypnotize to be a killer. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, I could see that. I could seriously see that. And honestly, if that's still his main point, yeah, yeah. But I seriously doubt that's still his target to do. I, I, I think Chucky has a more Deeper, darker motive this time to, I don't know, um, to, on the side of, okay, Chucky thinks Andy is dead, so I'm pretty sure he's not gonna worry about Andy, but I know he is just gonna worry about, that Chucky's gonna worry about Jake, Lexi, and Devin. So, whatever he's planning, it's going to be dark, it's not going to be good, it's, yeah. And, okay, the, guy, the actor from Final Destination and also from Season 1 that played Jake and Junior's dad, fathers, and that's... Oh, uh, in season two, his character is father. He annoyed the living hell out of me. Don't get me wrong. 
I like him in Final Destination. I hated him in Season 1 of Chucky. This season... I thought I wanted his character to die in, in Season 1 badly. And no. This one takes the frickin' cake. <laughs> this character just freaking on tops. The whole Jake and Junior's father character. And, and, and I'm like, please, just please let him die soon or fast. Quickly or slowly. Something. Because. Okay. Him throwing out the mouth. The soap mouth type thing. My mother never liked that. And she. She told me that. And yeah. Um. The way how he's just. how The way how the character is. It, it's just. It, it bugs me. It bugs me to my freaking core that I really just want to shut him up with the whole s speeches. And don't get me wrong. Seriously, don't get me wrong. I have faith. I believe in our father, our big D. Out there in the silver silver city clouds, but there's just so much I can handle with the speeches. Goodness, and the whole wording of. Oh, the devil made me do it. The devil sits on your shoulders and shit like I heard so much of that. I'm like, I'm tired of that speech. I mean, like, seriously. If you truly think about it, okay, if, 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 okay, if we, if we have a devil sit on our, sh and an angel sit on our shoulders, which, okay, some people theorize that's actually true, Really, truly. Anyway. Moving on. Because I can just go on and on and on with that bullshit. I did when I watched Lucifer. Uh, that that shit just made me go on and on with that bullshit. Anyway. Um, uh, when she... Uh, and when our new gang member to the gang... Uh, Found and just uh woke up and saw Chucky and she's like, I loved when she did not just stop screaming. I I just loved when she just like went on with the biggest scream that she could freaking lead out with, <laughs> and I just. I loved it. I laughed, and, and uh, I I also even double laughed when Chucky just starts screaming. He's like, ah, which I knew right there. That Chucky doll, when he didn't do anything to Jake, which made me start questioning, except just taking the picture and taking pictures of himself around the building. Um. And, um, and just took a picture of Lexi and ran out of the door. I'm like, okay, he's not going to attack them. He's not going to do anything. So, A, what's his game plan? And once they brought in and that he's a scout, I can, and that there's actually more of him. And honestly, yeah, honestly, when when they ended episode one, where, okay, they're at the church prison school, the three gang members stuck in one location, easy for Chucky to come in and out, and who knows, even more Chucky dolls come in and out, 
on the side of just one or two or three. Mm-hmm. Um, so, whatever he's planning, it's big, it's darker, it's, yeah. Um, do I seriously hope our new funny four-eyed curly hair any Scooby-Doo member die? I seriously hope not. She is like one of my newest favorite characters in season two. Since they killed off Jake's uh, foster brother, little foster brother, it, which that pissed me off. I, I, and coming into episode 2 and meeting her, I seriously hope they don't kill her off. I hope they keep her in. Probably, like, like allow her to survive uh, from episode 2 all the way to the end of season 2 of Chucky. And then let her come back in season three or a movie if Dom Mancini wants to do a season three or stop and do a movie after season two or uh, just let her stay in the group. Don't allow the group to lose any more people. Allow her her character to survive and not die completely. Because like I said. I wanted her to like. Okay and Nika. I feel bad for her as it is. She got possessed. Well she actually found out that Chucky is the one that crippled her. She went through hell and then got possessed and that's even more hell. And then on top of that, she got her limbs cut off and that's even like fucking thousand times more hell. Kill off Nika. Kill off Nika. Even though, yeah, Chucky and Nika is like partner, part, partner up together to get Back to tit against Tiffany, which that's basically how the Tiffany head got in her bed. Is that Chucky and Tiffany? That Chucky and uh, Nika is basically teaming up to get back to tit, uh, getting back uh, against Tiffany and. Um, but, like, just allow this new member in Season 2 that just got added to Jake, Devin, and Lexi's Scooby-Doo group, just allow her to survive, because in a way, Lexi is like the Daphne of the group, Jake is like... The Shaggy slash uh, Fred and um, Devin is like uh, slash um, Fred slash uh, Shaggy slash well actually yeah Shaggy slash Daphne, well not Daphne, but Velma, and the, and the new girl, she's like the Daphne slash Velma of the group as well. It's like all four of them have like, well except Lexi, has like different feelings between like, if you guys understand what I'm trying to say, comment down below saying we understand. Um, but I also, but when they also were doing the whole, okay, Jake, Devin and Lexi, here's the uniforms that you guys 
are forced to wear every day, every week, every month. And after, and when Devin's like, uh, uh, <laughs> the, when, after he said something about his waist, ow, the nuns, okay. Mm. And, and when the no, old cranky nun said, oh my gosh, you, you're so thin, you need, you need, you need a bunch of food. I, I'm like, and, but I love Devin's response and he's like thank you <laughs> I, i'm like okay that's something uh, I, if i knew i had to be careful with my words and not be so f cussing i would be i would use try and use my smart ass rem remarks like that to cover it up um and the nuns. Dude, what is up with the nuns? Okay, I... For the second episode kill, I am seriously glad it's a, it was an old, cranky nun. Because she got on my nerves right away. I mean... I mean, like, who does their Christmas shopping early? I wait until November to do my Christmas shopping. Not October, not se not September, not not even last year. I don't start during the summer unless I actually have to pick up that item during the summer or during October. If it's just like one or two items, I it's only that's only gonna be out around October or somewhere around the summer. Then yeah, I will. But, like, completely do, like, Christmas shopping for everybody? No! I wait until November. <laughs> and it's like, it's not that freaking important. I'm like... I mean, like, for a church prison school, you would think. But again, I'm like, okay, it, um, my mind's rolling back to a freaking prison. This is, like... It, it's a, it, it's more of a prison, but using a church type school to cover up that it's more of a prison type area. And, and I'm like, okay, this old cranky nun needs to go. And when Chucky pops out, gives her a heart attack, and, he, and the way how he's like sarcastic, <gasps> me giving by just the look of me giving you a heart attack. <gasps> Thank you. Uh, uh, hi, I'm Chucky. You wanna pray? I just lost it. That. No, I, I, I. My stomach was hurting when I heard that. Not just from the trailer. I, and I was waiting. That was the one, actually, sentence I was waiting to hear. Actually, in episode one. Was I a little bummed? Sure. But I, it actually gave me something to look forward to in the rest of the episodes. And since I finally heard it, oh, it was so good. Um, uh, and, and the second nun. Uh, but, uh, and, um, and, and when the old cranky nun grabbed her cross, which, okay. I don't like the cross type of crosses that has Jesus nailed to the cross. Even though, yeah, people still say that's like stronger crosses. I like just the bluntly cross, just the cross. But anyway, when when the old cranky nun grabbed her cross to, and he's like, "Oh, that's vampire." <laughs> no. <laughs> Ah, uh, Chucky, just ah, uh, stop hurting my stomach. Ah, uh, and, and she's like, <gasps> and, and, and I'm like, I knew it. she was gonna be those dead body. Um, uh, 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 and um, 
uh, and, and when, um, but when the second nun, I knew what, what she wanted to say. Finally, nobody's going to talk down on me. I'm going to be the head nun bitch around here. Yeah. You got what you deserve. I knew she was saying that in her head. And, and she really wanted to say that out loud. But right in front of father. The guy that. I, 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 I knew. She was already on his. Fuck you list. It, it, it was basically. Keep it in my head. I'll say you later by myself. In my room. And not right in front of the asshole. So, and to me, to be honest, I think she's not going to be that bad of a nun later on in the season. Even though, yeah, she's, when she was the one that welcomed Jake, Devin, and Lexi, and she did seem like a bitch. And I did say that at the end, of, I, in my last episode, uh, in the first episode of review. But I just think she might have a change of heart. Help Lexi, Devin, and J Lexi, Devin, Jake, and the new girl out. Or help them kill Chucky. Um, and I think it'd be like the father that'll be saved last. Or like, like. The fifth episode or the sixth episode that the father will die and it's just, and it'll just, all I know is that it's gonna go hell by hell by hell, slowly going downwards and, and after each episode, so... Have a nice day or night whenever you're watching this. Drop a comment down below. What's your favorite Chucky movie? What's your favorite Chucky line? Your favorite Chucky look? Uh, what's your favorite episode so far in this season? Uh, what's your favorite line so far in this season that Chucky said? Uh, what's your favorite kill? Generally, from past movies and this season, um, um, uh, what are you looking forward to, to this season, um, and, um, anything Chucky related, just put in the comments, whatever, however, and, and before I go, I, there, I was so angry because I was really looking forward to seeing Glenn and Glenda back on the screen. Small, big, whatever. I, I Even though you don't see it of Chucky, it took me a long time to get to deal with and to handle. I just, and once I heard they're coming back for season two, I was just happy. I was excited. And... For them to end episode 2. Having them look at their mother Tiffany. And I'm like. Mm. And I'm, and once it just ended. I'm like no. But anyway. Uh, hit that follow button. Be back for more. If not. I know where to find you. And not just me. My Chucky will get you. Peace.